The current state of consumer debt in the U.S., which reached a record high of $16.9 trillion in the fourth quarter of 2022 consumer debt is the amount of money that households owe to various lenders, such as banks, credit card companies, auto dealers, and student loan providers. Consumer debt can be divided into two main categories, secured debt and unsecured debt. Secured debt is backed by collateral, such as a house or a car, that can be repossessed if the borrower fails to repay the loan. Unsecured debt is not backed by any asset, and includes credit cards, personal loans, medical bills, and student loans. According to the Federal Reserve data released in February 2023, Consumer debt across all categories totaled $16.9 trillion at the end of 2022, up about $1.3 trillion from a year ago. This was the highest level ever recorded, surpassing the previous peak of $15.7 trillion in the third quarter of 2021. The increase in consumer debt was driven by rising balances across all major categories, such as mortgages, auto loans, credit cards, and student loans. Mortgages accounted for the largest share of consumer debt, with a total balance of $11.9 trillion in the fourth quarter of 2022. This was up about $250 billion from the previous quarter and about $1 trillion from a year ago. Despite a decline in originations, mortgage balances increased due to strong demand for housing and limited supply. Mortgage delinquencies also rose slightly from 0.29% in the fourth quarter of 2021 to 0.57% in the fourth quarter of 2022. However, this was still low compared to the historical average of 1.5%. Auto loans were the second largest category of consumer debt, with a total balance of $1.7 trillion in the fourth quarter of 2022. This was up about $100 billion from the previous quarter and about $200 billion from a year ago. Auto loan originations reached a record high of $204 billion in the fourth quarter of 2022, reflecting strong demand for new and used vehicles amid supply chain disruptions and rising prices. Auto loan delinquencies also increased, from 1.6% in the fourth quarter of 2021 to 2.2% in the fourth quarter of 2022, indicating some stress among borrowers. Credit cards were the third largest category of consumer debt, with a total balance of $1.3 trillion in the fourth quarter of 2022. This was up about $80 billion from the previous quarter and about $100 billion from a year ago. Credit card balances grew robustly in the fourth quarter of 2022, as consumers resumed spending after lockdowns and took advantage of promotional offers and rewards programs. Credit card delinquencies also jumped, from 3.2% in the fourth quarter of 2021 to 4% in the fourth quarter of 2022, reflecting higher interest rates and inflation pressures. Student loans were the fourth largest category of consumer debt with a total balance of $1.6 trillion in the fourth quarter of 2022. This was up about $50 billion from the previous quarter and about $100 billion from a year ago. Student loan balances increased for the first time since March 2020, when the federal government suspended payments and interest accruals for most borrowers due to the pandemic. Student loan delinquencies remained low at 0.8% in the fourth quarter of 2022, as most borrowers were still covered by the relief measures. The record high level of consumer debt in the U.S. reflects both positive and negative trends in the economy. On one hand, it shows that consumers are confident about their income prospects and willing to borrow and spend to support economic growth. On the other hand, it also shows that consumers are facing rising costs of living and higher interest rates that could strain their budgets and limit their future spending power. The sustainability of consumer debt will depend on how well consumers can manage their repayments amid changing economic conditions. Consumer debt is the amount of money that households owe to lenders for various purposes, such as buying a home, a car, or paying for education. Consumer debt in the United States has reached a staggering $17 trillion, which is more than the annual GDP of China. How did this happen and why does it matter? 
There are four main drivers of consumer debt growth, mortgages, auto loans, credit cards, and student loans. Each of these categories has been affected by different factors, such as the pandemic, inflation, and interest rate hikes. Mortgages are the largest component of consumer debt, accounting for about 70% of the total. The demand for housing has surged during the pandemic, as people sought more space and comfort in their homes. However, the supply of homes has not kept up with the demand, resulting in higher prices and more borrowing. According to the Federal Reserve, housing debt increased by 14% in 2021, reaching $11.8 trillion. Auto loans are the second largest component of consumer debt, accounting for about 10% of the total. The demand for cars has also increased during the pandemic, as people avoided public transportation and opted for personal vehicles. However, the supply of cars has been constrained by a global shortage of semiconductors, which are essential for modern cars. This has led to higher prices and more borrowing. According to the Federal Reserve, auto debt increased by 21.4% in 2021, reaching $1.7 trillion. Credit cards are the third largest component of consumer debt, accounting for about 9% of the total. Credit cards are often used to finance everyday expenses, such as food and clothes. However, these expenses have risen significantly due to inflation and supply chain disruptions. The cost of food is up nearly 9% over the last year, and a gallon of gas now averages $4.279 at the pump. To cope with these higher costs, consumers have turned to credit cards more frequently. According to the Federal Reserve, revolving credit increased by 21.4% in 2021, reaching $1.5 trillion. Student loans are the fourth largest component of consumer debt, accounting for about 8% of the total. Student loans are used to pay for higher education, which is seen as a key investment for future earnings. However, the cost of education has risen faster than income and inflation over the years, forcing students to borrow more. According to the Federal Reserve, student debt increased by 6% in 2021, reaching $1.4 trillion. The growth of consumer debt matters for several reasons. First, it affects the financial well-being of households, as they have to spend more of their income on debt payments. This reduces their disposable income and savings, and makes them more vulnerable to economic shocks. According to Debt.org, mortgage payments account for 9.4% of disposable income in 2021. The household debt service ratio, which measures the percentage of disposable income that goes towards all debt payments, is at 9.8% in 2021. Second, it affects the economic growth of the country, as it limits the spending power and investment potential of consumers. Consumer spending accounts for about 70% of GDP in the United States, so any slowdown in consumption can have a negative impact on output and employment. Moreover, high levels of debt can discourage consumers from taking on new loans or investing in productive assets. Third, it affects the fiscal stability of the government, as it increases the interest payments on the national debt and reduces the tax revenue base. The national debt is currently at $29 trillion, which is more than 100% of GDP. The interest payments on this debt are projected to rise from $378 billion in 2021 to $928 billion in 2030. This will reduce the funds available for other public spending priorities or tax cuts. In conclusion, consumer debt is a major issue that affects households, businesses and governments alike. It is driven by various factors that have been exacerbated by the pandemic, inflation and interest rate hikes. It poses significant challenges for financial security, economic growth and fiscal stability.